There are three huge barriers when it comes to men's growth and progress in life, and these barriers are not being talked about enough, and I've only come to realize the significance of them through my conversations with men in the work that I do. The first huge barrier is the feeling deep down that men don't deserve any better than their current circumstance in life. If you're miserable, that is what you believe you deserve because it's all you've been ever fucking dealt all your life. You come from a background of criticism, of harsh judgment from the people who are closest to you in your life. Anything you did or didn't do was never good enough. And these people's words and criticisms have created obstacles on your path here. You still allow those words and judgments to hold you back. You know deep down inside that the situation you're in is not ideal. You know that you can do better, but you don't put the effort in. You don't want it enough. And deep beneath that lack of want is the feeling that you don't deserve it. You've become adapted to this misery because it's all you've ever known because it's all that you know it's what's familiar to you and whatever is familiar to you is comfortable and this comfort is fucking killing you from the inside out i'm telling you that you need to make a fucking move you need to reach out to someone who's at a higher level than you right now so they can give you the courage and the strategies to eliminate these obstacles that lay in your way and also to help instill a sense of self-belief because the thing is if you don't believe you can do it if you don't believe you deserve any better then why put the fucking effort in in the first place so everything starts with this self-belief and the lack of it is down to the lack of love the lack of compassion the lack of understanding that you received from a young age the second huge barrier for men and I see this time and time again as they are suffering and struggling even after they've reached out for help and there's another setback there is this underlying condition that they feel like they need to fix this problem on their own now this does get thrown around quite a bit but I'm going to give you a different perspective on this the reason they feel like they got to fix this problem on their own is because they never received the help that they needed from a young age give the scenario of coming home and doing your homework and you've got a difficult maths equation to try and figure out you can't do it on your own you ask your mom or you ask your dad or you ask your caregiver for help with this equation and what you receive is a an angry reaction and their reaction instills in you a belief that if you ask for help it is going to result in a negative reaction that negative reaction is painful to you especially if it comes from someone that you love someone that you depend on someone that you trust someone that you need to keep you safe and protected so you refrain from asking these questions because of the potential rejection that you feel from this person. So you carry this with you all through life, thinking that if I ask for help, it will result in more pain. It may result in another rejection. But this is not true. So many people, me including, are ready and willing to help any man through any circumstance in life if it's not me you can find a therapist if it's not me you can find a friend or someone that you can trust to open up to but you have to have the fucking balls to reach out and again going back to my first point to know that you fucking deserve help because you deserve better than this shit storm that you're currently in and it brings me on to point number three so many men playing the victim even though you've been given the strategies given the advice given the tips given the roadmap as to what you need to do to move forward you fail to act nothing will happen unless you take action 
and I've even gone through this myself where I was using therapists and I was using my journal to help me through situations in my life but they became nothing more than another coping mechanism I can go there to my therapist or to a journal and unload my emotional baggage and then I feel a little bit lighter within I feel a bit better for a period of time until all of that emotional shit accumulates again over the course of a day and another week and I repeat that same process again just let it accumulate and unload it accumulate it unload it instead of asking the very important question as to why do I allow this shit to continually accumulate why am I expressing the same fucking struggle that I had six months ago it's because I didn't take action on it and that is a very real barrier for so many of you men out there you can go to a therapist they're not gonna fix your problem you can have your journal that's not gonna fix your problem your problems will only get fucking sorted once you take action to break the patterns of behavior that are causing the fucking problems in the first place that's why you need accountability that's why you need support that's why you cannot do this on your own and so many of you are going around having a fucking self-pity party with yourself on a daily basis feeling sorry for yourself playing the fucking victim and therefore feeling powerless and out of control in your life and then you go and you seek that control in all the wrong places you go on to porn and you feel a sense of control you go drinking alcohol you feel a sense of control you go around you fuck random women you feel a sense of control there's an addiction to being in control because deep down inside you've got no control over your whole fucking life this is a reality check man do with it what you need to and if you want to you reach out to me and i guarantee you we will reach that next level together so get the fuck after it